by Anthony Harris, known also as Peter Pan, has reached a happy ending. Thanks to an anonymous tip, the NCPD managed to reach them in time. The rescue being in critical but stable condition. Harris held the boys aged between 13 and 18 on his abandoned farm. This heinous case is just another example of Night City's continued moral collapse. Crime in Night City is now double the rate than in the new United States. At this point, it seems a near guarantee that closer ties with the Union would help to get this city's security back on the right track. Stay tuned for more details after the break. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. Some deets about her could be useful when I talk to her, don't you think? No, leave the talking to me. So, in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. You know how to get around their systems? Appears so. Was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as pie, yeah. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties. You know. oh. Yup, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mob. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a common thug. Yes, V. I mean you. Sounds like I left a mark on this place. Good. If by mark you mean buckets of blood, then yeah, congrats. Don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Judy has a proposal. About clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this... loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the tiger claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea. Think about it. It could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. 
You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read, negligible. Doesn't it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And, so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely, Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. You picked the wrong side, Maiko. I'll be the judge of that. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. You know what I think? She's scared stiff. She'd have lots to lose if things went sour. Everything, in fact. So she'll just let things go on as usual? You two have a history. Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. So was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Lying between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. It took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you, a deck chair and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow I don't see it. No, me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? Doing life as Antarctica's first dollhouse was recently opened. Well, what do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody? Fine. Want you to do it. You sure he's gonna be there? You met Michael. That prick still works here. It's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end him. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean my go? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. Fuck you two doing here? Where's Maiko? Why'd she fucking call me here? Evelyn's dead. Come here just to tell me that. That fucking kind of you to remember. Here. Go light a candle. When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> Instead, I took her to a ripper. Was due a little something in return. She should be grateful. And so should you. Hmm. Here's my token of gratitude. 
Be grateful, and so should you. Hmm. Here's my token of gratitude. the ground floor. I need to get out of this place. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling? It was so fucking strong. world did change, though. All the people he could have hurt, they're all safe now. Think of that. They'll never even know they were in danger. I get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. Thanks.